welcome to this lecture on basic charge model. This is module 1, MOSFET in weak and moderate inversion and today's lecture we will cover gate capacitance and justify charge sheet approximation and also we will discuss the inversion charges and mobile charges etc. We will discuss these with respect to the moderate inversion and weak inversion regions more specifically. So, in the previous lecture, we had derived this expression for electric field at the interface, silicon-silicon dioxide interface and we defined the function f. This function f is proportional to, its value is proportional to the charge in silicon and also its value is proportional to the electric uh, vertical or transverse electric field at the silicon-silicon dioxide interface in the gate stack. We had discussed that the onset of strong inversion depends on the local channel potential V. So, when you have a non-zero VDS, the value of V would be in an N MOSFET, the value of V would be increasing from the source edge of the channel to the drain edge of the channel. Now, we had also calculated a few values and uh, which are for these are corresponding to a typical device and we had discussed this in the previous lecture. Today we will discuss the gate capacitance and we will relate, we will use the function f that we had derived in understanding gate capacitance. So, the gate capacitance can be seen as a series combination of an oxide capacitance and silicon capacitance. How do we justify this? So, when the when the gate voltage changes, it is the, the change in charges here. Suppose you increase the gate voltage, positive charges add here and these positive charges would be compensated by depletion charges or inversion charges in the in silicon. So, so, suppose, so when you, so you can imagine as if there is an infinitesimally, infinitesimally thin metal sheet, an ideal metal sheet at the silicon silicon dioxide interface and you increase the positive charges by increasing the gate voltage so that infinitesimally thin neutral initially neutral metal imaginary metal sheet would uh, would have the corresponding negative charges and because of charge overall charge neutrality of that sheet it would have positive charges on the other side which would be balanced by the negative charges in the in silicon. So, that is the mental picture which we have for the series combination of capacitances. So, how do we get its get the value of this capacitance? So, let us discuss. C ox we have already seen in the previous lecture that is the oxide capacitance per unit area looking from the top. So, now what is C silicon? surface potential. So, this chi s is the surface potential and here the potential is 0 in the neutral body. So, suppose this is the depletion region. So, in the neutral body it is 0. So, what is this? So, what is the value of silicon charge Q silicon using Gauss law? It is This is the value of Ez at the interface. So, what is this? That is what it is. So, what would this come out to be? This would come out to be
and this is what it would come out. So, minus 2 pi f minus v by u t ok. So, it would come out to be this. So, what is this? So, as you increase the value of chi s, suppose chi s is negative. So, in that case you would observe that suppose chi s is negative, you observe you would observe that this value would dominate. So, it is accumulation and suppose chi s is positive and larger than 2 phi f minus plus v, so then this would dominate and that is the strong inversion region. So, in strong, so in strong inversion, so in between, so when it is not in strong inversion and uh, uh, when the first term, the blue term, blue, blue highlighted term is also negligible as well as the orange highlighted term is also negligible. So, in that case, it is the depletion charge which dominates. And the capacitance is nonlinear. It is, it is nonlinear because of F. So now let us see how it would behave in the three regions. So let us look at strong inversion. So in strong inversion, this would be minus two phi F minus V by U T divided by what is the value of f in strong inversion. So, in strong inversion f also becomes exponential the second term and the third term would be negligible in strong inversion it is only the exponential first exponential term which is important. So, what, what happens to this? This is then effectively this is the value. And in depletion, what is the value of this? In weak inversion or depletion, wherever depletion charge dominates, so the first term here, this first term is negligible, this is also negligible, chi s is positive, it is only one this term which we need to consider. So, Now, which term would be dominating in uh, weak inversion in f? It is the third term. So, therefore, it would be chi s by u t. So, this is what we would be observing for uh, the capacitance, silicon capacitance, CSI. So, CSI is uh, nonlinear with respect to the surface potential as we can see in both the regions of operation. So, in moderate inversion, it is the, the depletion charge the value of the depletion charge is much larger than the value of inversion charge orders of magnitude larger and therefore, it is the change in depletion charge which is dominating the capacitance and not the change in inversion charge and that is why we get this expression. Now, let us see how the gate capacitance change vary with respect to the gate voltage. Here this C g This is the value of gate capacitance as we had seen in the previous slide. So, 
So, as you increase the value of V g minus V f b, you would find that there is an increase in psi s from the or from accumulation as you begin here as you increase the value of V g minus V f b, you find that the capacitance reduces because when because it is you are moving from accumulation to depletion region. So, in accumulation region the uh, all the positive charges are, are at the or holes are at the silicon silicon dioxide interface. So, effectively it is C ox. So, now you keep on increasing the value of V g minus V f b, there is a depletion region formed and that depletion region its thickness keeps on increasing as you increase the value of V g minus V f b and therefore, you would find that the capacitance because silicon capacitance C silicon reduces and therefore, the series combination its value also keeps on reducing. So, when you further increase the value of gate voltage, the surface potential increases and because of that the depletion charge increases and since the depletion thickness increases, the silicon capacitance C S i also keeps on reducing and when it reduces the series combination also the series combination also reduces in value. So, suppose you increase the local surface potential that is you increase the drain voltage and you are looking at the gate capacitance per unit area locally at the source edge of the channel and comparing it with the value of capacitance at the drain edge of the channel. So, what would be the difference in the characteristics? So, you would find highlighter, you would find that when the first when the term so in uh, minus two phi f minus v by u t exponential chi s by u t plus 1 divided by f. Yeah. So, when the first term when this term is larger than 1 that is when chi s is equal to or larger than 2 phi f plus v you would observe that the numerator suddenly so, so numerator in the numerator the exponential term starts dominating likewise in the denominator also the exponential term would start dominating. In the numerator you are comparing the exponential term with 1, whereas in the denominator you are comparing the exponential term with chi s by u t, chi s of by u t would be much larger than 1. So, the exponential term would dominate in the numerator before it would dominate in the denominator. So, when in the numerator the exponential term is dominating and you find this kind of a characteristic. So, it increases the capacitance. When in denominator also the exponential term starts dominating, then you the capacitance stabilizes. That is what is happening in this expression. What really happens physically is that as you increase the depletion, as you increase the gate voltage and surface potential increases, depletion charge increases surface because the surface potential increases uh, there is in the inversion charge charges now start assuming a larger value. And when the inversion charges are such large that when you increase the gate voltage the positive charges in the in the gate are all balanced by the inversion charge there is no further increase in the depletion charge. So, so what what uh, what happens is that the gate positive charges in the gate they have corresponding increase in negative charges just at the silicon silicon dioxide interface and therefore, effectively the oxide capacitance or the gate capacitance does not increase and it stabilizes. So, beyond this point. So, when is this happening? This is when the in the numerator the exponential term is becomes comparable to 1 that is becomes equal to 1. 
So that will get postponed when you increase the local surface potential V, it could get postponed to a value which is suppose it is happening at a certain value chi s1, chi s1. So here it will happen at chi s1 plus V. So that is how the characteristics would shift right, shift to right if you keep on increasing the, the value of local surface potential that is from when you move from source to drain with a positive VDS applied. And with a larger local surface potential, the depletion region is larger when, so when chi s is equal to 2 phi f plus v, if v is increased, then for that chi s also needs to increase and therefore the depletion charge also needs to increase, depletion thickness also needs to increase and that is why you begin, you the, the value of capacitance begins to increase at a relatively smaller capacitance when V increases local surface potential. Okay. So now let us have an idea of the values, how the values would behave. So what is the value of C silicon for chi s is equal to 1.5 pi f, what is the value? So this comes out to be 0.352 microfarad per centimeter square. So how would you estimate the value of C silicon? So you just substitute the values as we have as we see in the in, as we have derived in the formula that we have just seen. So and uh, what is the value of C silicon at chi s is equal to 1.85? that is when you move from source towards the drain within the channel. So that, that would come out to be microfarad per centimeter square. Now what is the value of gate capacitance at uh, one55 f chi s is equal to 1.55f. So what is that? That comes out to be 0 0.173 microfarad per cm square. So now you can see that our oxide capacitance was 0 0.345 microfarad per, per cm square for the for the typical device which we had considered in the previous lecture. So these are all values for that typical device with oxide thickness of 10 nanometer bulk doping uniform bulk do doping of 10 to the power 18 per centimeter cube etc. So that we had discussed in the previous lecture. So what you observe is that in strong inversion the capacitance would have this kind of a value. But in moderate inversion the capacitance value reduces it and it reduces significantly. So this is something which we must keep in mind. So today we have uh, in this lecture we have discussed the capacitance of a MOSFET and related it to our basic charge model and also and to surface potential. So in the coming lecture, we would discuss the slope factor.